Hello, friends. I'm just getting that camera positioning right. It's been a few days since I last streamed. Um, as well, I guess I made some progress since the last time that I streamed. So I've been way behind this season. Uh, a few different reasons. Uh, I've been traveling the last few weeks. I'm actually still at my parents' place right now. Um, but yeah, that's limited the time that I have for the game and for streaming. Um, so I was way behind. I was only in gold one, I think, at the last end of the last stream. Um, but last night I said, you know what, I really want to be in the gladiator circuit for the start of this new meta. So I just sat down and played for something like two and a half, three straight hours. Uh, fortunately, at this point, for an account of my size, um, the platinum and, and diamond sections of the victory track are very easy to progress through. Um, so I think I maybe lost one match early on to some guy from PBT, but other than that, I won every single match, so um, it was fairly efficient for me to get into Gladiator Circuit. I haven't played any matches in Gladiator Circuit yet, with the, uh, with the meta having ended just now, um, you know, since it was going to end anyway in a few hours, or, or you know, half a day basically, um, when I finished off last night, I figured, you know what, not really much point in playing the last few bits of that meta. Let me just wait for this new meta. So, um, it should already be active. Let's just go in and look at what the active buffs are. Hmm, so it's still saying unstoppable here, but I'm sure once I go in, it'll be the new meta. Um... So, a few things to do. One is, and I'll try to be quick about this, but usually I'm not that quick. Um, I do want to play with the Masteries a little bit. So, at the very least, I know that I want Deep Wounds to get to 5 out of 5. Um, ideally, I would get at least a point in Coagulate. Probably one point is enough. Um, And I'd like to maintain those five points in Mystic Dispersion. Ideally, I'd also like to maintain the three points in Equity and the three points in Despair, but something's going to have to give. Um, so I think I'm going to try taking a point out of Courage in order to get that fifth point in, uh, in Deep Wounds. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now, because that's a one-for-one -one swap. So I'm going to rebuild this tree. Again, I'll try to do this quickly since this is not the most exciting portion of the stream. Okay, one. And one. At some point, I would like to do a more, I guess, scientific look at the effects of different mastery options. Um, for a while, I had been running four points in either precision or cruelty. Uh, in order to just have another point to play with, uh, because that was kind of the popular wisdom for a long time, is that that fifth point in precision and cruelty, because of diminishing returns, doesn't do a ton for you. Um, but my thinking, and again, this isn't like I've done any scientific testing, but my thinking is that, well, um, Battlegrounds kind of changed the game. In every single other game mode, it's about not dying. Um... Whereas in Battlegrounds, especially with the recent scoring changes, it's about finishing fast and healthy. Um, and so having that additional point, even if it, uh, if you are getting some reduced benefit due to diminishing returns, having that fifth point in cruelty and precision is going to help you finish the fight faster. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to try with that. And Okay, so I do have enough points now to go into this part of the tree. So I will... I'm going to do just one point in despair for now, uh, so that I don't have to completely rebuild the tree if it turns out that I really need that extra point. But, you know, given the regen meta, um, I do think having despair is going to be a helpful asset. So, I feel like points in deep wounds. Okay. Um, so the question is, can I maintain three points in equity and still get another point in coagulate? Um, and I think maybe I can take a point out of standard round. I just need to verify. So that's two, three, six, ten, eleven, fifteen points that I have in this part of the tree, the left side of the defense tree. And willpower in order to unlock it requires what? No, willpower does require fifteen points. So I can't save a point there. Let me just redo my math real quick. Two, three, six, ten, eleven, fifteen. 
Eh, it is. Um, all right, I can't save a point there. And I don't think I have anything to save in proficiencies, right? Um, I know there are some high-level players like Legacy who actually don't put all points, don't max out parry and stupefy. Um, but I don't think that's the right play for me. I think I want every single um, bit of that extended stun duration. Definitely I need 5 points in Limber. Obviously I have to have Dexterity ma Mastery Active. And I need all 5 points in Mystic Dispersion. So, you know, between going 2 points in Despair and 1 point in Coagulate versus just 3 points in Despair, my inclination is to say, let's go 3 points in Despair. Um, I'm, done, I'm not planning at this point to run Omega Red. Um, or any other, at least off the top of my head, any other champs that are bleed resistant and therefore benefit greatly from having that additional bit of bleed resistance to get them to uh, 100%. Now, obviously, even lacking that, you know, just uh, being able to take 10% off of those bleeds is going to help. It is going to help. The other question is, should I have willpower maxed? Arguably having willpower maxed, again, that's another thing to maybe get more scientific with is um, in battlegrounds, if you're getting three bleeds on you, are you going to have a bit better benefit taking 10% of the damage off of those bleeds or by increasing your healing while those bleeds are active? I guess if you just think about it real quick, um, you know, the extra two points in willpower is getting you up to, I think, what, 0.7% health? Yeah. So it's an extra 0.2% health. Um, if typically your Battlegrounds attackers, just to make the math easy, uh, had 50,000 health, um, then what is that? 1% would be uh, uh, 500. So you're not even getting that. Yeah, I think actually coagulate is important. You know, let's let's try two points in despair. Um, one point in coagulate for now, and we can always play with it later. I don't want to spend too long here. Okay, so the other thing to do, much more important, is to rebuild the deck. Now, I am kind of nervous about this meta because I think a lot of the champs that are going to be powerful champs that I really only have at R3. And I'm nervous about, well, how much do I want to neuter the, uh, um, you know, the, the, the max attack of my deck by taking out a bunch of R4s, maybe even maybe an R5, to make room for these R3s. Um, not just attack, but defensive as well. Um, I don't know, but... Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and clear out. Um, oh wait, I think I have to update this, right? Update the master loadout. Okay, clear the deck again. And now let's go through and... Yes, yes. So when I said R5s, um, I don't have future Ant-Man, his SIG level maxed out. So I'm not getting his bleed, uh, his bleed benefits. But even if I did, you know, he's, his ideal playstyle is doing a lot of blocking, which is you know, going to be inviting all that deep wounds damage. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to have him in my deck or not. I'll put him into start, but um, he might very well be someone to take out. I am going to try... I typically don't have my R4 Guillotine 2099 in the deck. With her heal reversal, as well as her bleed immunity... She might actually be an effective attacker, so I'm going to try her out. Um, and at the very least, you know, she is kind of annoying on defense. I do think that spot is one R4 I'm going to take out of the deck. Obviously, he does rely very much on, um, you know, taking a lot of hits into block. So, yeah, I can't see him really being a good option for this meta. I am going to put Toad back in. Uh, I think he's going to be a very 
annoying defender because his built-in regen mechanic is going to mean that he goes unblockable quite a big portion of the fight. Nimrod an absolute must. I think I'll leave Killmonger out for now because I think I'm going to need the spots. Kitty, definitely. I'm glad that I took her to R4. Um, she is going to be a needed weapon. I think Shuri's going to be, you know, it's, it's really hard to not take a bunch of hits into block if you're trying to fight her on a, uh, on attack with her as a defender. So, yeah, she's going to be tricky. Um... Joe Fixit. Nick was talking up Joe Fixit. Um, I'm going to leave him out for now, but he is an interesting option. And Marty at 27. I am going to try out Merle. I think he's going to be interesting. Thing is another one that it's a long fight regardless and um, without being able to block as much she's going to be annoying void okay so now we're getting to the uh the trickier part you know i would like to have black widow in there i would like to have colossus in there would obviously like to have ghost in there um iceman iceman i probably need to sig up first uh crossbones but all these champs are R3. And so if I did take them in, who would I take out? So as much as it hurts, I'm actually going to try at least at the first. Man, it hurts to take out an R5. But I just feel like, you know, outside of a very few matchups, he's going to be primarily defense only. And I think people have gotten used to him at this point, that people know which uh, which champs to use and how to attack him in order to get a really fast time on him. Yeah, so he might have to go. That one does hurt. I feel like there are other tech champs that I really wanted to have in the deck. Oh, Omega Sentinel. Warlock. Warlock feels like a must. Am I just running too many techs? Maybe Iron Man has to go too. You know what? I am going to take out Iron Man. It's an R4 gun as well. So let's go ahead and put in Warlock. It feels silly not to put Ghost in, but the reality is I'm really not that great with Ghost, and I don't want to be too overweight on tech. So what am I underweight on now? Skill. Yeah, I do want to... S There's a number of good options in the skill class. So between Elsa... Crossbones. I think it's between those two, Elsa and Crossbones. Let me put Crossbones in. And what does that mean? I'm, used, I'm really not running anywhere near as many Mystics as I usually do. And I did want to get Black Widow in there. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Alright, I can't take any of those mutants out. Maybe I take Quicksilver out? But Quicksilver... You know, if you take any hits in the block, that's going to be really damaging, right? I think he's he's got too much defensive value. Arguably, I could take out Thing. Oh, I never put Void in. This is tricky for sure. You know, maybe I just go with this for now. Um, I don't want to spend too long just messing around with the deck. So uh, let's just go ahead and start queuing up matches. See how this goes.
I expected to find a match quicker. Should be a lot of people with the meta having just started. At least I would have thought. Where is everybody? Alright. I only have a match. Boy, that was loud. Let me lower the volume here just a bit. Alrighty. So I'm gonna ban that ghost. Cable is actually going to be an annoying defender. Uh, I was thinking about him, but mine is not ranked up highly. Uh, let me actually get him out of there. And who else? I'll ban his Black Widow. Much as I attempted to take Guillotine, I'm going to take uh, Abspan. So I'm not finding Torch or AA. We'll see how that does for me. Um, I'm gonna take these two guys. Just trying to keep my options open right now. Give myself as many two ways as I can. Pity and thing. I'm gonna need a thing counter. And I'm going to take that Shuri. So the question coming into these matches is, how much should I focus on trying to play without blocking at all? And how much am I just going to take the, uh... Except that, you know what, if it slows me down, it's fine. I'll just go for broke. So he doesn't really have anybody for Toad. And who else should I take? Go with Belk. Oof, Nova's gonna be a pain in the neck, that's for sure. Alright, let me see. I don't know who he's going to use against Toad, I guess. Hercules. And he's going to give me, what, Kingpin. Okay, not that surprising. I should go Bishop. Let me just look around a little bit. Then we'll go Bishop. And he's going Hercules. Okay. Oh, he's from Suicide. It's interesting. to be clean. Did it fast, but obviously lost a ton of health. Alright, I'm kind of curious to see how Shuri does. Even though Abysman is probably my better defender. He's going Nova. 
Chico Nova on attack. I think Abysman is just too powerful on defense. I'll take some chances early on. Scarlet Witch. Alright, um, I guess I'm gonna go... Right, and then I'll do Shuri on defense if it goes round three. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. I think I'm gonna take some damage on this one. Still relatively quick. I lost a lot of health. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be a very good matchup for them. Alright, so we win our first match. It's a good start. Go ahead and update the stats here. So we're at 1 0. Okay. Oh, we do have new objectives. I forgot about that. So. Right, let's just dive right back in. relatively long queue times. Here's Harry. I wonder if this is the same Harry who shows up in some streams, like lefty streams. Um, Alright. Dragon Man. I think I don't want to see any part of Dragon Man. We take a lot of damage off of blocking his L2. Who else? Who else is going to be a problem? Didn't have any great ideas, so I just kind of made some hurried decisions there. So he actually bans a bishop. Wouldn't have expected that. It's okay. Um. Let me go Domino. Should I pick Thing this early or should I take Shuri or Warlock? I'm gonna take Shuri. I mean, Nimrod is maybe even a much better matchup. Actually, let me do that. Nimrod. Oakling is gonna be a problem, and I was thinking about Dom um Banning that Hyperion. I'm gonna take you. And... Gore is also definitely an interesting option. Yeah, let me go for Gore. I think even given that he has poison immunes, Toad would have been a good choice, but... You know, in these early kind of matches, let me just try some try some different options than what I would usually do. See if we can get some ideas. Nebula, okay, good pick. 
I'll go for a hulkling of my own. And two. Do I have enough defenders? I was definitely tempted to take um, I bomb there, but. Alright, spot's gonna be. Definitely a, an annoying option. Okay. Um... Alright, I'm not feeling that confident about this. I do have definitely the stronger roster, but I feel like in terms of the draft, it's roughly even. So he's going to spot right away. All right, I'm going to put Gore down because Gore is kind of a iffy defender anyway. So this is going to be feast or famine, I think. So yeah, I, f I figured he was going to go with Sim Supreme. Now who do I use here? Elk is certainly not an ideal counter for Spot, but maybe she can work. Let's just not let me intercept him. Okay, there we go. Alright, he did pretty fast, 54 seconds, but lost a bunch of health. Alright, should I put Folkling on defense? I'm gonna go Shuri first. Try to save Hulkling if I can. Yeah, let me do that. He goes Hulkling. Alright, I'm gonna go Ventra. And I figured he was going Hyperion, okay. I think it's gonna be hard to build the Furies with Hyperion. Come on.
Kind of slow. Lost a little more health than I would have liked. Let's see how that holds up. Decent start. Um, you know, obviously, I am at the bottom of Gladiator Circuit, and there's a ton of people. You know, it's been very active, so it's clear that there's a ton of people in the Gladiator Circuit already, which means the bottom should be relatively weaker players. So uh, I'm not going to get too excited or try to reach too many conclusions about which attackers or defenders are effective yet. So I think I haven't run into the real competition yet. Alright, we're queuing up again. Alright. See if we can keep it going against Sriram. I don't want to see that. That is going to be pretty powerful. Let me ban him. And Venom, without being able to parry, Venom's going to be annoying. Alright, he bans Hulkling, Nimrod, and Absman. Poison immune. Take you. Interested to see how, uh, even without parry, Sunspot is able to do. Take a toad of my own and kitty. Spidey Supreme. I should probably put him on my deck. He's going to be a terror. Boy, who am I going to use against Penny? Not sure. If he puts, um, really have nobody for that penny. That sucks. Just gonna have to throw that round. He goes a tomb, huh? I'm gonna put down Doom. And I'm gonna try to use Kitty here.
lost more health than I would have expected. Yeah, you'd have to be... It's not like it's an impossible match, but I felt like... Picking Doom with I bomb in this meta is going to be very difficult. Alright, what am I going to do here? Let's see what Toad does. You know, I'm gonna try Sunspot, see what happens. Alright, good, so I get Penny out of the way. Reasonably fast, but he's going to be fast too, I think. He's definitely got a good shot of finish at full health, so I think I need another 10 seconds or so to pass by before I can feel okay. Okay, should have it at this point. Well, I didn't expect that. I thought that he would be able to finish. You know, Penny should be heal blocking. She's poison immune. Um, yeah, a little surprised at that. Okay, I thought I should have finished off my objectives. Not sure what this stuff is about. Okay. Um, so that's three matches in the books, so let me update the record as well. Just for posterity, so 3 and 0. Um, it's about lunchtime here, so I'm actually going to um, end the stream there. I'm going to go get some lunch, and I think late tonight I'm going to be back on and start doing some more streaming. Um, so it's fun. There's an interesting meta. I wish more metas were like this, where it's really a lot that you need to kind of consider, a lot of thought that needs to go into deck construction. Um, yeah, it's great to see. So um, I'm having fun so far. I'll be back tonight, hopefully, and uh, let's continue progressing. All right. See you all later.